Let me furnish you with a potted history of our chip fat Merc. Chapter one, we bought a diesel Mercedes for 800 pounds. Chapter two, we put used chip fat in the fuel tank. Chapter three, we then drove the width of Britain, proving that old vegetable oil was a perfectly viable alternative fuel. And chapter four, we set a land speed record for a car running on chip fat. 97.1, I've got to stop, I'm gonna die. 97.6, 97.8, oh my gosh. The benefits of using chip fat are clear. It's clean. About the most harmful thing that comes out the exhaust is the smell. I'm getting frying pans, well-established truck stops, a warm, full-bodied Saturday night. I'm a chip fat evangelist, but we've heard about a man who's preaching from another book. A man who plans to use one of his five daily portions for internal combustion. A man who wants to run his car on apples. Henry Hobhouse is one of just six people in the UK to run his car on methane. It costs 70 pence per litre, but he reckons he can get it even cheaper by capturing methane gas given off by rotten apples from his 55-acre cider farm. Henry Hobhouse. Hello. Pleased to meet you. you? I'm Johnny. Um, right, now we've got quite a lot in common because we're both from Somerset, we both really like cider, and we both really like Jaguars. Can you just show me around the car the main ingredients of, of the cider Jag? We come to the back here. We have a big tank made of 12 millimeter steel, compressed to 200 bar. You've got plenty of room in the boot of the Jag, so that's stowed well in there. This is why I chose this car. The engine conversion is around two and a half thousand pounds, but the prospect of self-sufficiency makes it a worthwhile cost. So you're powered by your own farmyard. Well, hopefully. Yeah. That's the plan. Yeah. Henry reckons the high-octane methane gives his car a 10% power boost, so we couldn't resist holding the first alternative fuel time trial. It's chips versus methane, an upstanding member of the community versus a boy who looks like a terrorist. Which car, powered by Mother Nature, is quickest? We knew the Merc was good for nearly 100 miles per hour. But here, acceleration was the key. In a dash to one end of the airfield and back again. Chip power covered the course in 41 seconds. While Henry challenged my time, he insisted that I look after his dog. That's the dog squeaky toy, it makes a horrid noise. <laughs> no, don't do that, no, the dog will be on my yeah, lap. Let's concentrate on the a ball. Leg breaking. Come on, God. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not as good as I should have done. Yeah, the, dog, the dog's got a sneeze on. Right. That's much better than mine. 31.58. That's what it should be. That's 10 seconds better than me. Yes. 10? Yes. That's, That's outrageous. what it should have been. OK, so Henry's got a bigger engine. But the point is methane doesn't hinder performance. No wonder it's so popular in Scandinavia, where eco-boffins reckon it's the greenest alternative fuel currently available. I'll be sticking to chip fat, though. If everyone ran their car on apples, we'd have no cider to drink. <laughs>